everyone. My name is the Theme Park Evangelist. I am here at Kings Island, and it is opening weekend of Grand Carnival. Now, the reason why I'm just now YouTubing, it is now officially 6.37 p.m., and uh, the event actually only uh, just started at 5 p.m. Now, I was planning on doing a YouTube short of Gazillion Bubbles. Today is was the official last day, and I had already, I actually went to the very final show for Gazillion Bubbles, and I was gonna pull my phone out. Here's the thing, when I went last time two weeks ago today, I didn't hear from the very back uh, on the nosebleeds that uh, video recording and photography were strictly prohibitive. Of course, people are still gonna do it anyway. And I just, I genuinely didn't hear it. Of course, Katie was like, well, you shouldn't um, post that on uh, YouTube. Or you should take it off of YouTube, I should say, because it's already been on YouTube for the past two weeks. And I said, well, they haven't said anything to me yet, so she's not going to say anything otherwise. So uh, my brother, ironically, is here today with me and Katie. Uh, he's been spending the afternoon with us. Now, unfortunately, we are going to be leaving here uh, earlier than usual, which means that I will not be able to show you guys the parade tonight. But that doesn't mean it's not going to happen either. Now, next Sunday, I'll be back here again, but I'm also not going to be, once again, watching the parade. But next Sunday, I have a good reason for it. Next Sunday is opening weekend for Deadpool and Wolverine. And I've been hyping that for the past month on my YouTube channel. So at this time, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you guys Grand Carnival 2024. So this actually was all decorated last Sunday. And that was the last time I was here. But I really wanted to emphasize the uh, Under the Stars fireworks display. And I really hope that everybody enjoyed uh, my uh, presentation of Under the Stars. Uh, it was not easy to come up with a good spot, but at the very last minute, I mean, we're talking 9.58 p.m., and it should have had a five-minute delay, um, ended up um, finally, uh, you know, starting at like 10.05, but, you know, I mean, just saying, if the show had even started on time, I managed to get that last-minute spot, and I was like, oh, wow. So you guys probably noticed they already had the parade route all marked up. Uh, Katie is trying to call me. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, or end this clip, I should say, just for now. A uh, slight detour. Uh, I gotta stop by Fest Toss where uh, Katie was just having dinner. Uh, she accidentally uh, misplaced her engagement ring and she is having a panic attack right now. So, um, and that ring means the world to her because it, to her, it means that she's engaged to me, so. I am almost back to Fest Toss, but we'll continue on at here in the next little bit. So, unfortunately, um, didn't find it, but we are heading towards the uh, K&I Miami River uh, Valley Railroad, or whatever you want to call it. So, um, while we're heading that way, I figured I'd take this opportunity to show you guys more of Grand Carnival. Obviously, I can't go too far as uh, Katie is uh, in the gift shop right now. They got some stuff going on over here. And uh, Katie's calling me, and I don't know why. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this clip. So, yeah, right now they're uh, out here uh, playing with hula hoops. And uh, they got, oh, let me zoom in a little bit. They got that sign back out again saying Grand Carnival starts July 20th and ends August 4th. So I'll definitely make sure to come back here again, whether I have um, Katie's parents or not with me. And I'm going to um, do some more YouTubing. Uh, maybe the final weekend, I don't know yet. I don't really have anything planned for my YouTube channel the month of August other than 40 days and 40 nights of gospel music. So I'm definitely going to take advantage 
of uh, whatever opportunities I can get. So I did notice earlier while I was walking around before um, Grand Carnival did start that they are now trying to combine food and wine with Grand Carnival. So uh, right over here to the immediate left is a taste of Spain. And um, wanted to show you guys uh, what they're uh, offering. And uh, the guest next to me is actually trying it right now. It's, I think it, it's called Pala. And this opens at 5 p.m. daily. And then this other thing looks really good. Wow. And then, of course, they sell everything in here. Um, so this is exactly what everything looks like. That's kind of neat how they do that. So, um... They also have a, a booth where you could like take a photo. They got more signage. They got a bunch of tables out. Uh, I like the standing table idea. I don't think Disney has ever tried that. I think that's a really neat idea. I'm, but once again, I don't go to Disney as much as I used to go to. Um, so, you know, it's hard for me to remember. Like, hold on. Um, what Disney has, what Disney doesn't have. Uh, obviously, TJ, the country music lover of Polk County, my YouTube partner, knows more about Disney than I do because he works at Disney Springs at World of Disney, but he's actually in the process of uh, possibly uh, working over at the Contemporary Resort and the uh, gift shop on the main floor. So I think that would be a really good fit for him because uh, they seem to really like him over there. So, um... Yeah, of course, I'm obviously limited of how far I can go right now. But look at that sunset. Wow. Oh, this is retrospect. I was wondering what was going on over here. But that sunset just, wow. That's awesome. Well, since I kind of did whatever I needed to do, and he's still not out yet, I got to go find out what in the world is going on in there. Wow, just look at that sunset. You guys got it, I believe in you. Wood. Now they're playing that song again. All the uh, buildings on this side of first are all decorated. There's another coaster I gotta get my brother on. Diamondback. Let's go try out the test seat for you on the way over just for giggles. The test seat for Diamondback to see if you fit. Oh, they got more stuff over here. But this is all alcohol. Literally all alcohol. 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 This it sounds like shell hall. We got the food truck out again. All about food, China Delights. Oh, there's a Fonda. Wow, yeah, smoked tuck fried rice, interesting. Oh, wow. Almond cookies and fortune cookies. Yep, smoked tuck fried rice. That's such one beef and bayo bun, that's what I was looking at. And there's everything right there. Nice. I quickly panned away, I promise. And there's Katie, surprisingly still smiling. Not really. Faking it for the camera, probably. <laughs> Look, there's the uh, place that I ate at on my first date, aka Jonathan's 25th birthday. But not that particular location, the one in Newport. Yes, I did. Katie wasn't there yet. She joined after, remember? No, remember? No, Y'all were sitting there when I came in. She technically joined. Even then, you didn't consider that. It wasn't until the restaurant later. The date didn't start until you guys went into Newport. Newport. <laughs> 
Well, that's pretty much all the Grand Carnival stuff right now. I'll try to see if I can find more stuff later. <laughs> well, it's uh, 8.30 now. Uh, moving a little later than I normally would, but the important thing is that um, we did make an effort to try to find Katie's lost item. And um, we're gonna try it one more time. And the also the other important thing is that I got to take my brother on the train for his very first time, so I'm very happy about that. And we're still getting out of here before the parade. Not that I don't want to see it, because I do, but I don't want to have to be up at the crack of dawn. So they got a Grand Carnival information booth over here. Of course, the front entrance is all decorated. By the way, Jonathan, the International Restaurant's up there. That's the International Restaurant up there. Restaurant, restaurant. It should be straight ahead at uh, the services. And they're doing something called push for pencils. So, but you gotta flush out of it, so that's kinda cool. Well, I'm almost back to the car. Um, I have uh, Katie and Jonathan, my brother, uh, walking slightly ahead of me, but uh, I just wanted to take a minute to uh, go ahead and do the outro. Uh, did not show as much of Mardi Gras. Wow. Got Mardi Gras stuck in the brain. I'm at Grand Carnival as much as I uh, wanted to. So, uh, needless to say, uh, in that stance, I'm, more dis I'm a little disappointed. But I'm more disappointed by the fact that we couldn't find Katie's lost item. And the fact that we didn't get to do as much for my brother as I wanted to. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next vlog. And always remember, you can do all things through Christ's strength and zeal. Have a great night. Have a great night. Peace out.